What you guys got another video here for you on every PC repair tool on one USB flash drive. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be creating a bootable USB flash drive with all the tools that you will possibly need for computer repair. Now we're going to be building a WinPE here with uh, a load of tools already comes pre-built uh, in this little project here, but you can add more. And you can get some at portableapps.com, and you can also make your own portable apps for your own particular programs. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is turn off your antivirus temporarily, and this is because the programs we're using sometimes get flagged as a, a virus, and uh, this is completely fake. It's a false positive and you can turn it back on once we're finished. You're going to need to download your Windows 10 ISO. You can get that from the Microsoft website and you'll need to download the Windows 10 um, version here. I'm using the Win 10 XPE version and I'm going to download that and use it. OK, so you can use uh, that version. It's the one, the second one down. I'll leave the links on my website for you to uh, download. So anyway, let's go into the C root directory here and then we're going to create a folder and we're going to put inside here our Windows 10 folder and also our project folder that we're going to be using. So let me go ahead and put a folder inside here. This is called Win 10 XPE. And of course, we can create another folder, which is for Windows 10 as well. This is going to be our project inside here. OK, so we'll extract that in a second. So let me just go ahead and uh, create another folder called Win 10. And this is going to be our Windows files which we've downloaded from the Microsoft website. So there's our folders there. So let's go to our files that we've downloaded here. I've already got them on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I've got 7-zip installed. So I can right click here and we can extract the files from there. So I'm going to extract files and then I'm going to go to the location to those folders that we've just created. That's in our C root directory. And I'm going to be picking the Windows 10 XPE because that's what we're extracting. Click OK and that will extract those files for us into that folder there. So it take too long. There we go. They're already installed nicely. So let's go and take, check it out and see what it looks like. So there should be literally a folder here inside here. So we've got another folder and another folder. So I, I didn't have to make that folder there. But what I'll do is I'll copy those out and put them into their separate folder. These are the project files that we're going to be using. OK. Next up, what we're going to do here is extract all of the ISO. So you can mount the ISO by right clicking and mounting. And then you can copy these out and put them into that Win 10 folder inside your C root directory. So I'm going to go inside here and we're going to click Win 10 and we're going to paste all those files into there. So this is our Windows 10. So that's all done. So once that's done, we can then open our project and start to build our WinPE. So we'll just let those files extract and then we can continue with our project. Now the project is already built. So really all you need to do is open up the project and then basically create your WinPE with the files that it's already got set up. If you want to add more, then you can do. Let me just show you how we're going to do this. So I'm going to open this up. Just let me copy this folder here and put it into my C root directory here because I only want to have one folder. I don't need to have two. There we go. So that's it there. So that's all I've done. So inside here, we've got our project. So I've just changed the folder names or so. OK. Right. So let's uh, open this up. And we're going to open up uh, their Win 10 XPE. So open this one up. The project will open up on a little window here. You see Win Builder. And from here, we need to select our source files, which are going to be our Windows 10 ISO uh, or the extracted ISO files, which we've done here. So I'm just going to use that big button here that says select Windows 10 source folder. So just select that and go to the location where you just put that, which is the Windows 10 folder there inside your C root directory. You should now populate and show you that we've got that selected and it tells me we've got Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. So that's already set and done. So we can move on to the next stage here. Now, theoretically, you could literally just click play and this will then build our WinPE for us. But if you want to tweak this, you can do. So let's just take a look here and go into the app section. You can see there's a bunch of little areas here that are unticked. These are uh, areas that have been unticked. If you want to 
add those in you can do by putting ticks in these and if you want to leave them unticked you can do so it's that simple so you can see we've got a bunch of stuff already in here the stuff you don't need you can untick and the stuff you want to keep um, you can leave the ticks in there if you add, add more like for instance if I wanted to add these two in I just put the ticks in there and this will add those two areas into the build itself now you may see an area here saying a Cronus True Image 2020 and also Iomi Backupper is in there as well and if you look here you will need to paste in your license key this is your legitimate license key that you've purchased uh, when you purchased uh, a Cronus True Image 2020 or when you purchased Iomi Backupper you paste your license key there and this will be yours to use on your WinPE version now if you don't use a Cronus and you want to use Iomi Backupper you can do we'll take a look at that and it's exactly the same sort of thing you just put the tick in there to populate it and you would then paste in your uh, valid uh, license key inside there and of course you can set this up to how you like for instance pin to the start menu pin to the start bar and stuff like that so depending on what version you've got if you don't have any of those then you can install the free versions you can also do mini uh, tool partition wizard here as well and also we've got macro and reflect there and a bunch of other ones there so it's entirely up to you which ones you want to install and again if you have a license key for those you can do and uh, use those features which is pretty nice so moving on down here we've got a bunch of other stuff like HD tune CPU Z and a bunch of other tools there which are very useful uh, in the PC repair industry now if you want to create your own applications and add these in you can do as well this is going to be a, a great way of changing the wallpaper adding your own feel to it and it will become your own project in a sense and you can add and take away stuff so if you want to add Google Chrome in here or Mozilla Firefox or whatever it is you can add those in we've got any desk remote support software there we've got office suite there now again some of this stuff I really wouldn't use so I would remove the ticks from these like Recuva I would probably wouldn't never use that I'd use my own separate uh, data recovery software and again getting all of the ticks done here if you wanted to add something else in you can do for instance here you can see add your own custom folder this is the area which you can add your portable apps to so if you've got a bunch of portable apps that you'd like to use you, and you've created them yourself you can basically add them in there you can also run all of these programs from RAM you can select the amount of RAM and uh, the WinPE cache size you can set that up here as well and you can also see we've got some other settings on here which I'm not going to go too heavily into in this video but basically you can add in drivers and integrate more drivers in there if you have drivers by the bottom right hand side there so you can open up this folder and then select the programs file area here and you'll see a readme file in there so you can have a look at that and it basically just tells you what to do and where to put your files you can add portable applications in that directory right there if you want to add a shortcut to your uh, WinPE you can then add in that path there it shows you down the bottom to create them you can add a link and you can see here it gives you the idea of which way to do it to add the shortcut to the desktop on the WinPE that you're building so if you want to do that you can do and uh, it just makes it a lot easier to find you don't have to add the uh, shortcut on there it's just an added step if that's what you want to do but again port apps are very very useful in a WinPE environment so let's go ahead and just paste a couple in there just to show you I'm not going to put loads in there but you can uh, put these in there now you can download these from uh, portableapps.com as well free to use and again this is FileZilla Portable it's been tried and trusted and working uh, on their website and you can download it so that's all ready to go now once you've got all your settings done and all your bits and pieces you can see integrate drivers down the bottom there as well and you've got some other build options here you can change the background of the wallpaper you can do network settings you can do additional options there's a bunch of things you can do on here just remember it's going to take trial and error to get it to work properly if you start adding loads of stuff that hasn't been tested okay so once we click the blue play button this will start to get things ready it's asking to download certain files I'm going to let that happen and it will then go ahead and start to build our uh, project here so let that go ahead now this does take a fair bit of time so do be patient okay it's not going to uh, be a five second job it does take a good few minutes 
now you may see a black box popping up like this and this is just going to download and update the latest versions and that sometimes does happen you can see here it's starting to download an item and it gives, normally gives you the link to the items that it's downloading here to use in our project so just let that happen you can see it uh, downloading here now once this is all complete you should get uh, an ISO being created and there you go it's starting to finish off now and it says successful the project has been successful and it's now been created we can close this off and uh, you can now test out your ISO so we can close this off and go to check out our project now we'll say that some people will say that when they go to download this that their antivirus program blocked it and that's because of the nature of the program itself it's called a false positive and there's no harm in using this program you can turn on your antivirus program once you've finished and you should be back up and running now the reason why we disable the antivirus program is to stop it flagging it as a virus and this is what we class as a false positive there is no malicious content in there it's just the nature of the program and it course will flag that type of content if you choose not to use it that's entirely up to you so here we go with the ISO image that's created here so you can now uh, use this ISO and make a bootable USB flash drive and boot to that drive let me just show you what it looks like once we boot up you will get the usual boot up sequence like you're seeing here and once you get to the desktop you'll see it's an administrator here and there you go that's what we've got here you can choose whether you want wireless or uh, dynamic IP or static IP and you can load it up and it should give you internet access and you should see exactly what you're seeing here now all of these tools you can add more in there if you wish and this will be very useful for fixing certain things like password resets also uh, malware cleaning uh, remote assistance uh, all sorts of stuff uh, you can do from this uh, location here so let's take a look at some of the programs now I've been using these types of WinPEs for many many years and they're very useful and you can bundle in a load of tools that you like to use on a regular basis like data recovery uh, whether it'll be uh, backing up your data password resets or even installing uh, Windows itself you can repartition drives you can do all sorts of stuff as you can see here so pretty much it's a really useful bit of kit now backing up data is a great way if the PC is non bootable and you can't get to the main desktop maybe you need to uh, back up the data you can use this to back up data very quick and simple and you'll have all the tools on one USB flash drive you can even test hard drives to make sure that the hard drive is functioning properly make sure it's not failing you can do things like that from this environment as well so quite a few things you can do you can even repair windows from here now of course you can build and customize your own WinP the way you like it with all the applications that you use on a regular basis I'll leave all the links on my website so the link to my website will be in the video description you can go there and you'll be able to download all of these uh, programs my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>